bring them up the floor. They've had great contests all season, these two teams. They've played three times, including once. They get it up quickly. And Kai Soto puts a stop to it. Well, hands over to McCarron, who wasn't expecting it. They've coughed it up with an ugly turnover. McFay's going wow. to score. That one. Go out of bounds. We'll still start right here. Which McCarron wasn't really expecting. He can't be doing throwing it back in, but tried to make a save. And then Jack McVay. So far, just one of two from deep. Soto working on Krizlovic and got him in the air, then lost control of it. Everybody knows their roles as Johnson tries to make something happen there. And that's what Scott Ross said after the margin to five. The guys who are really contributing to that, Hiram Harris, Tad Dufemeyer. Karen got a piece of the action and eventually does reel it in. Now Ditch, Adelaide running. They've had the better of this second quarter. No. Oh, they call offensive foul on it. They have. Got a foul on Blue. Blue 11. Pushing on the rebound. The foul's on Kai Soto. Well, off the ball. Tasmania over the limit in terms of fouls. And they've got superior height. Want to work the ball inside. Lob pass and McCarron gets it to Soto, who's fouled and off to the strike. Again, I like that with him towards the wing. And Mitch McCarron goes to the corner. And as the ball goes the other side, you get it back to him where he can just turn the corner and be aggressive, yep. make something happen. He's a willing passer. He saw that eventuate as soon as he was turned. Game and seven points, five rebounds in that time. And the second one in the opening quarter, Tassie. They're one of six from long range since then. Johnson against Perry. Lock pass. Soto eventually it broke down. And Kai Soto comes up with a finish in his first points. And he wants to scurry up the floor quickly. To Soto for the flush. Oh, how nice is that? The big ball. Kai Soto, good rebound from Mitch McCarron on the defensive end. Throw it up anywhere.